Saturday Night Life cooking show. I'm going to say get your ass in this house. <laughs> What's up, Uber Eaters? I am here as a guest on Uberina's channel today. Thank you guys for tuning in. And me, yeah, I am the get your ass in this house lady. My name is Renee. My channel is called Saturday Night Life Cooking Show. Make sure you stop by and tune in. <laughs> Is this the thing that goes on the front? Yes. That little thumbnail? <laughs> yeah, show me how to do that. All right, but before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, subscribe button is on the bottom of the video. Hit the little bell so you get notified every time I put up a new video. And I'm also going to include Miss um, Renee's tag here in my info so you guys can go to her page, subscribe to her channel too. I need subscribers, come on. <laughs> and view her videos. She has some really good cooking videos on there and some really good recipes and that I've tried. So you guys check it out and subscribe to her uh, channel, okay? So today we have, I cooked for her and she cooked for me. So I'm gonna show you guys what we made for each other. So here we have the oxtails with the potatoes and carrots and a brown sauce and then the red beans and rice with macaroni and cheese. And then we have the chicken adobo with just plain white rice with the adobo sauce over it. I made um, some oxtails for you. I actually made them in the Instant Pot. Usually I will make them in the oven, but I wanted to kind of get them uh, done a little bit faster. So guys, when you use an Instant Pot, you can get these done in like an hour versus three, four hours in the oven, right? And you'll be able to see this recipe on my channel because I was recording uh -huh. when I was making this for <laughs> Uberina. Yes. I think she's gonna like it. By Tell the me. way, if you guys hear some background noise, some yelling, those are my children. <laughs> so They're having fun. <laughs> yeah, they're having a good time. So they're gonna be in the background, so. Not like the sound of happy kids. We love that. At least there's not a bunch of screaming memes up there, right? <laughs> screaming memes. They're having a good time. Okay. We're going to get started. What you got for me? Wait. Oh, wait. Man, I'm, I'm all excited. Okay. <laughs> Come on. All right. So you have adobo chicken. So one of the main points that I had that I started my YouTube channel is to highlight Filipino food. So that I've never had before. Yep, this is her first time having adobo chicken, so it's just the so basic recipe. Cause she gave chicken wings. I don't know how she knew that was my favorite part of chicken. I'm put but honey, I love a good chicken wing. I blocked it. See that? Uh oh, I dropped it on the table. It's okay though. We gonna eat all of this. Like, Might eat the table if it's good. <laughs> I feel greedy though, cause we can't give y'all any. Nope. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> not really. Same time, right? Sorry. <laughs> not really. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Not sorry at all. I'm excited. Can I eat it with my hand? Yes, you can. Okay, you can eat it however way you chicken want. Chicken is a finger food. Yes. I <laughs> love oxtails. And I usually, I told her this before, I usually don't eat oxtails unless I make it or my sister or my mom makes it. But her oxtails are it amazing. Business. Thank yes, you. They are. I'm gonna eat some rice first. I've never had black sesame seeds. And uberina has got black sesame seeds in here. And I like sesame seeds, I just never had the black ones. For real. The way we're looking at each other. <laughs> okay, I already asked for permission if I can like slurp my chicken off the bone. If y'all don't like it, just turn away for a minute. We're slurping our meat. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is tender. I'm gonna bite you right now. Oh my god. <laughs> you okay? You better be alright because you gotta finish that plate. You're like I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> oh my god. Don, why is this you so tender? Just, that instant pot do some work, girl. You said this has vinegar in it? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Is that what makes it tender? Well, these are all like on a stove top. I got so many questions right now. 
I got like that. Yeah, eyes, that so eyes all of them. <laughs> Figurations going in my. Oh my god. So I cooked the chicken first, like I seared it a little bit with garlic, and then I put the soy sauce and the vinegar, and I just let it simmer for like forty-five minutes or so. It's so good. I'm in love with this chicken right now. This beats a boyfriend. Shoot, I can suck on the chicken and stuff. <laughs> My first bone is done. Oh my god! <laughs> a dog ain't gonna want that bone. Oh my god! It's so good. I just dropped my spoon all <laughs> on my lap. This is now delicious. my pants have a stain on them. No, they don't. Not really. I'm on my second oxtail now. Well, if I tell you I ate a whole wing already, he's gonna be mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! It's so tender though. It is. What did you do to this? Put some black girl magic in that pot. I did. Everybody ain't qualified. No, I had, to, I had to go to the black girl magic school for that. There's a school. The black girl magic school <laughs> for girls. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I feel like a fat frog right now. I don't care. I'm on the food. It's good. Mm. Who would have thought soy sauce and vinegar make such a good marriage, man? Mm -hmm. And it's not salty. It's just good. You know what? Go and get you another one. I will get me you another one. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. And another one, too. You deserve it. I didn't mm -hmm. eat this by itself. This is good. So, Renee made. Rice and beans and mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is like one of my favorite foods. It is? Yes. I didn't know that. This makes me want to dance though. Mm. Look at that. When I tell y'all this is so tender, I'm sitting up here eating the dog on gristle. Look at this. This is bone. Look at that. There's nothing left. Should I feel I'm bad? I'm going to eat all these oxtails. Mm. I don't even care. I don't care. I'm not going to feel bad if I eat all these chicken wings. But the children they eat. They don't want none. They don't want none. They don't mess with ox tails. Mm -mm. That means it's more for me. Yeah. <laughs> they will later in life. Oh, can I crack open a mango? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay, y'all. So, she got this. Mango nectar. I've never had it. I've never had Filipino food. I've never had mango nectar. This is all like, all these firsts for me. Mm -hmm. It's good to have your Filipino girlfriend in your corner, you know? She ain't gonna steal you wrong. She gonna give you the good <laughs> stuff. But I wanna try this. Mm. I you like good? it. It's like, it's like concentrated. Drinking them, like I'm eating a mango, except it's just liquid. It's I'm good. I'm just gonna use my spoon. No, that's Use your fork, ain't nobody eating it but you. Ooh. I'm ready to get down when you get down. When my mama see this, she's gonna be like, why are your elbows on the table? Why are you doing that? Why you know are you your hand weird? down? Like, I rarely eat with my elbows on the table. I'm doing it right now only when I'm holding something. Mm. Otherwise, I'm like this. I do it when the food's good. You go in a little fancy yeah. restaurant, you gotta put your napkin in your lap. You gotta do like this. I'm not with all that. Me neither. I'm I'm Filipino, like, we eat with our hands. I just, that's right. You eat with everything like that, right? Mm -hmm. A lot, of, yeah. I love this. Even rice. Is that why you use the sticky rice? Mm -hmm. Not new. No? Just do? Not right. This is, see? I'm gonna be Filipino, y'all, for a minute. I'm gonna do it like this. Huh? But it was already stuck together. Okay. So like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at Miss Renee. <laughs> she eating with I her hands, so y'all. good, y'all. This is like so... Look, it's so good. I can't believe it. I still got chicken on my plate, and I'm reaching in there getting some. <laughs> look at this big oxtail that's almost gone. Mm -hmm. Have y'all seen what an oxtail looks like before it's cut? No. You want to know? It's about that long. And they just get it and cut it in joints. It's amazing how big it is. That's what she said. 
That was good. Oh, I'm man. sorry. I was just waiting on it. Ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I, I was just. I was literally waiting. I was staring at you, and I was <laughs> like, "Oh, she's gonna say it." I didn't see it. <laughs> I missed it. My spidey sense is off. <laughs> I promised Uberina that I would not choke on the bay leaf, so I'm not even gonna put it in my plate because I have choked on one before. Please don't. No matter how long you cook these things, they never get soft. No. Did y'all know that? Yeah. It's, I got to dip it in the sauce. They were in there for like 45 minutes. See, oh, they, they didn't get soft. It's just like it came off the tree. It's still hard. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to stop today. <laughs> hey, you keep walking <laughs> in there, man. I'm just giving them to you, right? I'm yeah. Them and you catching them. I'm just... Giving them to you. That's what she said to you. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I promise. I'm done. No, you're not. I'm good. No, you're not. I'm oh just gonna gosh. eat this food. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Look, man. look. You like it? I do like it. Did you like macaroni and cheese? Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's leftover. You know. I don't care. From yesterday. It's mac and cheese. <laughs> You put a little sauce on it, brings There's it back to life. There's a lot of life. cheese in there, too. I had to shred that cheese with my very own hands. Don't buy that pre-shredded cheese for macaroni and cheese. Mm -mm, you gotta get the it block. It has some stuff on it, yeah. I think they add, like, more Like a flour or something, yeah. It, to make it You stick. can tell mm -hmm. when it comes out of your macaroni and cheese that you use that pre-shredded stuff. Just go ahead and shred it yourself. Grate, well, grate it, I guess. You got a food process to put it in there. Oh, I'm hungry. Look. I shred mine. You are. You got a bone yard over there, man. I'm going to shred it so y'all can see it. Look at all these polo baby birds. I'm eating. That didn't sound right. No. <laughs> this is so horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I do got a bone yard. You do. I got all these tips. And they're good too. They're good in season. Yeah. I think people underestimate that part of the chicken. The tips. Yeah, because they're tasty. Mm hmm I love a turkey tip too. See, I didn't I didn't want to act up and show y'all how I really do it. You need to. Because I I disintegrate these bones here. I eat every little bit. Excuse me, I burped. <laughs> You make a room in your second stomach? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. That second stomach get ready to kick in over here. My dad used to say, he'll be like, oh, if you if you um, want to keep eating, you just put it in your jaw. Because and do what? In our family, we have like big yeah. faces. So he was like, you have room right here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you supposed to go to bed with that and then chew it up later? Yes. <laughs> 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 you say that like, for later? He'll, he'll, he says in Tagalog, he'll be like, which means put it in your jaw. So all this time I've been doing it wrong because I used to sneak mm -hmm. cheese and put it under my pillow when I was a kid. Yeah, you just hide it right I'm <laughs> <laughs> doing it wrong. <laughs> my mom used to find slices of cheese under my pillow. She's like, Renee, leave my damn cheese alone. <laughs> I would sleep with a slice of cheese every night. I <laughs> know. I did. Someone come get her. I was a weird kid. Oh my god. I was a very weird kid. At least in, in my mind looking back, <clears throat> I think I was a little strange. I was strange too. I think I was a little bit weird. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done as a kid? Oh my god, the first thing that pops up in my head. I used to cut my Barbie doll's hair. Did you? Bald. Why? I don't know. You was gonna give them yours? No. No? That no, wasn't it? <laughs> like, my parents would literally get mad because they'd buy me Barbies, and I'd stash them away after I cut their hair. So they wouldn't see? Yeah. They should have just bought you a Ken doll. He ain't have no hair. Right, but I had, like, a weird fascination of just cutting hair. And then I never cut my hair. That's how beauticians get started. But you never did that. No. Hmm. I mean, I went to the, I, I tried You were just out. born pretty, though. <clears throat> so you didn't oh. have to be a beautician. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. 
But no, I used magician. to cut their hair. Hmm. And my parents would get mad. And then I got this little Debbie doll. It was like a collector's item. It was like 50 years old. And guess what a I little had? Debbie as in the snack cake? I don't know. Hmm. Some lady gave it to me, and she said she'd had it all her life. Oh, was she Big Devil? <laughs> was it just... <laughs> Did you just say was she Big, big Debra? Yeah. Is that why the doll was a little Debbie? She I don't big know. Debra? It was a Debbie doll. A Debbie doll? I know. Okay. See, I still have, right now, I have the doll that my grandfather bought me when I was two weeks old. See, that was and the she sentiment. Has no hair. That was the like sentiment yours. of the doll. Well, okay. she had it for a long time, and guess what I did to the doll's hair? You cut that one too? Mm hmm Did you think the hair was going to grow back, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> like, you remember when they came out those baby dolls? <laughs> Where you, like, turn something in the back and the hair grows back out? No. I no? just cut them. Hmm. That's probably one you of the weirdest things. And then they stopped buying me Barbie dolls. Because they said I was just going to cut their hair. I, I would have stopped buying them for you, too. And my mom would find them like you just in baby random heads. like corners of the house the dolls tucked in what'd you do with the hair i i didn't do anything oh i would um like tie it and then braid it <laughs> <laughs> tell me that's not weird i was just about to call you a weirdo see <laughs> what's the weirdest thing you've ever done i want to hear it i still do weird stuff i do too i think it's weird um Probably was that hiding that cheese every night. I went to bed with cheese every night. And right now to this day, oh my God, I'm throwing rice on my boob. Right now to this day, I cannot eat just regular sliced cheese. It has to be like a grilled cheese sandwich or a regular sandwich, but just like, you know how they pass That's on. what you get from they, hiding it in your pillow. I think I had too much cheese. Because you, now it traumatized, you traumatize yeah. yourself. You know how people get the cheese and do like this at a party? Can I have cheese and crackers? You're like, Ew. Cheese and crackers? I will not eat it. I will not oh. eat it. it. My cheese needs to be melted or in between some turkey. I cannot eat just cheese by itself. It has to accompany something. And those little square blocks of cheese, you don't like those? No. I like the little blocks. No. I don't like them. I like it. It's, just, it's too much cheese. It's too much cheese. You know what traumatized me when I was a child? What? I loved Hawaiian Punch. Oh, yeah. My mom used to say that I was like, when she was pregnant, she ate Hawaiian Punch and Three Musketeers, and that's why I'm big boned. <laughs> born nine pounds. That's a big baby. You were right. Did your mama have you naturally? Mm-hmm. She's an angel. What a saint. She's yeah, a mom. Saint. She's a saint. Nine pounds. Good job, Boom. mama. Good so, job. Yeah, she drank Hawaiian punch. And your mama's little. Yeah. She, you better love her. Oh, well, she had you four kids. Her. She already had practice. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Or three. I was she a ain't practice with nine-pound baby, though. Listen, ma'am. That's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't force her to eat Hawaiian Punch and Three Musketeers. No, you did not. So, yeah, so I, they said that I was born red. From the punch? <laughs> <laughs> so I was born you red. You had too much red dye. No, no, red seriously. Dye. That's what my dad said. When he saw me, he was like, oh, it was, it's the we punch. need to wipe that blood off her. <laughs> I, was, I was just red. Oh, my God. So really? I think I was seven or eight. I was drinking Hawaiian punch, and then my stomach turned it up one day, and I just threw it all up. And I never drank Hawaiian punch since. Really? I, was, I can't. It turned. It turned you off yeah. from it. Too much. You had enough when you were in utero. Yeah. You didn't eat no more. Yep. <clears throat> and yeah, I haven't drank it. No. Uh, I, it, yeah. Ooh, I haven't drank it, Hawaiian punch in like twenty over twenty years. I love Hawaiian punch. Oh. Mix it with some Sprite. Makes a good makes for a good frozen cup. Just Hawaiian punch by itself and some pineapples or fruit cocktail. No, no. Put it in a cup like this and you freeze it. Still not doing it. And what do you call flip? that in your area? A flip. A frozen cup. Flips. <laughs> frozen cup. It's a flip, ma'am. That's why they say flip it, uh, the, because you, that's why you, you push call it a flip lady. The flip, not we the frozen have the, cup lady. We do have a frozen cup lady. Come on. So you just See, say the, you say say the, the whole flip. thing, you say frozen cup lady? Yeah. We're like, you don't just say flip. We say frozen cup, well, we say candy lady. 
Well, now it's the Candy Man. That, that sounds sound horrible. Like candy Man. But he, he has some. He have he have frozen cups. He have good ones. He has more grown ups buying from him than he does children. But she says flip because you get it. You push it up once it's frozen, and you flip, flip it. it. I say frozen cup because it's in a cup. Are you eating and the it's cup? frozen? But you're not eating the cup. But for all intents and purposes, it is frozen in a Are cup. Are you using a spoon to eat it? Cup. Sometimes. I get it and I flip it upside down though. Whatever. And I eat it that you way. You can stay with your frozen and I do cup. Like that. It's a flip. <laughs> it's a flip. <laughs> Y'all tell us what it is in your neighborhood. I thought I could eat this, but. I've gotten a little bit for myself. I'm kind of like making myself eat it because it's still so good. <laughs> That's why I'm eating. And I'm a fat girl. I'm Can eating all it? the loose pieces of the, uh, of the meat. Tail. Yeah. You still got some in a pot yeah, too that you can have. Here. Yeah, carrots, potatoes. Mm. So that's not to toot my own home, but beep beep. It was good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, her ox tails are like, y'all see this? It looked like that uh, that elephant graveyard online thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick cookie. <laughs> oh, You're a sick puppy. Oh, good. And let me just mention, I got this thyme <laughs> that was on this stick right here from my mama's garden. I got these scallions right here from my daughter's garden. Resourceful. What's in my garden? <laughs> basil bush <laughs> that's it i got basil bush a little bit of rosemary and a pepper bush with no peppers you know you're saying bush with the word garden bush and garden what isn't that what it is a basil bush is that not what it's called is it not a basil bush i'm just gonna let Are you, you connect the dots later else? you're thinking something else you naughty girl <laughs> it's a bush <laughs> <laughs> bush. <laughs> you just had to say it. Mm, I See, did. Now you said it. It's a bush. You're the one that said it this time. Mm hmm. I took it from you, I guess, huh? That's meat in my teeth. How'd that happen? I'm sucking on it too hard. Ooh, that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Mm hmm. Make sure if you have not subscribed to my video, subscribe at the bottom of the video. And the link to her channel is going to be in my bio on the bottom of the video. Come by and visit. And see her recipes. And subscribe to her channel. And hit the little bell so you get notified too whenever she puts up a new video or a new recipe. Because they're worth watching. Seriously. Yeah. And they're easy. Yeah, they're, I make them really easy. So if you are not a novice in the kitchen, you can still get by with what I'm going to show you. You just follow the steps. And you are home free to make us some good stuff. If you got a man and you're trying to reel him in, get some of them recipes, honey. Put it in your, put it in your little repertoire. <laughs> You'll be all right. I promise. <laughs> I had two husbands. They ain't leave because of my cooking. I promise you. <laughs> they didn't. I still feed one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, that's why y'all should go to her channel. <laughs> And subscribe. And thank you for having me as your guest. Of course. We gotta do this again. I, yes, I have we fun. do. I had a good time with you. All right, y'all. Peace, love. Take care of yourselves. Eat well. And we will eat in front of you real soon. That's right. Bye.